at the campground. I want to go check out Loop A, Site 6. I have started to learn that I should drive around and check out the spots before they give me one. You know, maybe I can choose one. So this is my site. I am by road, but I don't have a whole lot of neighbors. Which is nice about coming in the off season. I've learned. I'm gonna set my tent up right here. And see how things go. Oh, I just got some neighbors. And I saw some firewood over at that other campsite. So I'm gonna go get it. And this is a idea that I got from some YouTube video I saw. This is just an Ikea bag to gather wood. Totally smart, so let's go get it. Cha-ching! And there's no tag on the site, so it is mine. It feels kind of wet. Oh gosh, this is heavy. I'm gonna break this. There's my new neighbors. Sorry, David Drew, that was actually a part of the giveaway. I thought it looked cool, but it's not cool. I shouldn't let that drip on my stuff because I am not in the desert anymore. 
I'm going to be camping more in bear country. So, I don't want to be playing with any bears. So quiet. You can hear all the creatures. It's pretty cool. I should get out my big spotlight. I can hear people walking. I can't see them, they can see me. I don't like that. I don't have any marshmallows. So... I do have some weird snack things though. Maybe I'll try some of those. Stand by. Okay, let's take a look inside of here. So those are these. And then we've got these ones. Oops. And these ones. So let's try this. Yeah. It's not bad. I don't love it, which is probably a good thing, because then I won't eat all these bags tonight. Cheesecake is not my favorite. It's what else. So I'm excited for tomorrow. I'm going to check out the visitor center and um, look at the different hikes to go on and just see what this park is all about. So I will see you in the morning. I am getting up just to use the restroom. I open up the door. Oh my gosh, how are people sleeping? It's so cold.
They have different tours depending on the season. And I was hoping to go on this river tour um, that I read about in my National Parks Guidebook. This book is awesome. I highly, highly recommend it. It provides all the information that you need, the entrance fee, the peak season information, how much the parks cost. It even has camping and hiking information. For Mammoth, yeah, I wanted to do this one, River Sticks, but that is not available. So the last tour that is available for today, I got the last ticket, is the historic tour. So we'll see how that goes. The tour is almost going to start and I should be over there, but I'm over here because it's a little bit warmer over here, just a tad. Ooh, wind over there. So yeah, I think maybe I'll head over there now. We're gonna be in some tall places, so if you're scared of heights, now's the time to ask questions. We're gonna be in Fat Man's Misery. That is a narrow spot. Claustrophobic people. Now's the time to ask questions so that we can clarify for you. Um, and then Tall Man's Agony. So there's gonna be an area that is the well, the passageway is about three foot nine inches tall. And that gives you an idea of the type of duck walk that we're going to be doing through there, okay? So, does anybody have any questions specifically? Um, cameras, this is important. We don't allow monopods, so we got to get rid of the monopods. We don't allow bipods, tripods. Okay, so I'm not allowed to have my gimbal in the cave. You can't have a monopod. I'm like, this isn't a monopod. It's a gimbal. It's a video stabilizer, so the footage might be a little bit rough. Okay, guys, sorry. We had this in multiple parts of the cave where these prehistoric Native Americans traveled. And so we believe that this was a way to mark their path as they were coming in. It looks like a checkerboard or a tic-tac-toe board, only a lot bigger. That's what that is. Pretty awesome, isn't it?
so you don't cross-contaminate with the bats in the caves because they're dying off. So that's what that's all about. We are going to try my MSR wind burner stove for the first time that I got from my good friend. And uh, I've never used one of these camping stoves before, so I'm a little bit sketched out. Uh, we're going to have some mac and cheese with some cheddar worst. Simple. It's about 45 degrees. So we're going to hurry up with this. Um, I can't make, I can't make this macaroni and cheese on this thing. We'll do this another time when we get out my Coleman stove. Okay.
box. Okay? I'm eating all this. And when I was at Walmart, I found all of these purple cups. And this one is a, it'll keep your liquids cool or hot. So I'm going to boil up a, another pot of water and then put it in here and use this to sleep tonight. Um, it says it's supposed to last for 12 hours hot and 42 hours cold. And this is the Bubba brand. So we will see how that goes. Fingers crossed. That's going to be nice and toasty. I wish I had a camp fire because this would go a lot faster to boil. Okay, the noodles are done. I don't want it to be mushy, so. Looks pretty good. Mac and cheese with cheddar worst. Gloves out. Woo. That, those uh, sausages are salty. But man, it just tastes so good. I'm going to finish dinner. Go check on my boiling water and then get ready for bed I'm pretty tired even though I slept a lot today um, and then I will report back to see how this uh, hot water bottle situation goes I'm going to um, finish putting this stuff in my car I have way too many things um, I have too many things because I was uh, traveling for work last week and this week I'm camping and I'm not going home so I have a lot of crap. Yeah, let's get this finished and hit the road and head to Great Smoky Mountains. I'm excited about that. We are ready to roll all packed up. I forgot to mention that my hot water bottle that was supposed to be hot really was not. It's cool to the touch, so it did me no good, but I do want to open it up and see how the water is inside. Since it's supposed to be good for 12 hours. Let's open up the bigger. I did wash my hair, it felt amazing. They only have cold water in the female's restroom, so. It's warm. Yeah, that's nice. It's warm. It could probably um, warm up a little pack of cream of wheat or oatmeal. The insulation is great, but it does not work well for a hot water bottle. I'm headed to Smoky Mountain National Park. I'm super excited. Mammoth Cave was awesome. Don't bring a monopod. What is? Make sure you reserve your cave tour ahead of time on recreation.gov so that you can get the one that you want and the cave tours are seasonal. If you get this snazzy book and you want the River Sticks tour, you're not going to get it in the spring. I'm um, hitting the road now. It's going to take me a few hours to get to Great Smoky. I think I might stop by REI and get something, some kind of an insert or something for my sleeping bag because it is a cold and... It was 24 last night when I woke up. It was 34 degrees. I need something. I hope that you enjoyed this trip. 
it was a little bit different. It's cool to go see some different national parks. And we are on to the next one. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.